Good morning, Hank. It's Tuesday. Today's video is like the human sternum. It comes to you in three parts. Part one, the Manubrium. So the 10th annual Project for Awesome Nerdfighteria's annual charity event begins at noon Eastern time on Friday. That's when you should upload your Project for Awesome videos and submit them to projectforawesome.com. But the Indiegogo fundraiser will go live at midnight tonight, and you can get lots of great perks for donating, including a Project for Awesome tote bag, p for a socks, an exclusive episode of Dear Hank and John, and an audio recording of me reading about 15 pages from a thing I'm working on. Wait, a thing? What thing? Thing isn't a very descriptive noun. Yeah, I know, it's intentionally undescriptive. Moving on! Part two, the body. The middle of the sternum is called the body. Anatomists are so bad at naming. So during the first half of the Project for Awesome, all the money raised will be split between Save the Children and Partners in Health, two organizations doing amazing jobs of helping the most vulnerable children and families around the world. And thanks to matching donations, I am pleased to announce that during the first half of the P4A, your donations will be worth much more money. A group of nerdfighters has gotten together with Hank and me to offer $300,000 in matching donations, and generous donors from both Partners in Health and Save the Children will also match your donations, meaning that starting at midnight tonight, every dollar you donate to the Project for Awesome is worth four dollars. So thank you to all our matching donors. Part three, the Xiphoid Process, which would be a pretty good name for a band. It's time for my holiday book roundup. This year I want to recommend 12 books that I think will make excellent holiday gifts. Let's start with my three favorite grown-up fiction books of the year. First, Underground Railroad by Colson White. Head, which just won the National Book Award. It is a haunting and brilliant novel about American slavery that imagines the Underground Railroad as an actual Underground Railroad. Second, Moon Glow by Michael Shabon. Shabon? One of the problems with being a proper genius like Michael Shabon is that after you publish several nearly perfect novels, people start saying, oh yeah, it's another nearly perfect novel. He's written a bunch of those. But no, this is an amazing book about war and memory and mental illness. I loved it. And lastly, What Is Not Yours Is Not Yours by Helen Oyeyemi, which is just a transfixing book of fairy tales like short stories, I promise you have never read anything like it before. For sci-fi fans, another story collection recommendation, Ted Chiang's Stories of Your Life and Others. One of the stories in that book was the basis for the wonderful movie Arrival, but they're all mind-blowingly good. My other favorite sci-fi of the year was Nettie Okorafor's Binti, which is about a girl who has to travel across the galaxy to attend university. It's page turny and exciting, but ultimately really moving. Young adult fiction, I liked a lot of young adult books this year, but I'm going to limit myself to three recommendations. First, Ember in the Ashes, a thrilling and and politically astute dystopian series. Then there's The Raven Cycle by Maggie Steve Otter for fantasy fans. It's just amazing. And if you're looking for a good YA love story, I recommend The Sun is Also a Star. For fans of YouTubers, there are lots of great books out there by YouTubers, but I want to highlight Hannah Hart's Buffering because I think it's a beautifully written and extraordinarily touching memoir. Okay, nonfiction. Two standouts for me this year. First, I Contain Multitudes, a history of microbes and humanity's relationship with them. That is a fascinating book, even if, like myself, you are not thrilled by the notion that half the cells inside of your body are not, strictly speaking, yours. And secondly, Sapiens, a sweeping history of the last 250,000 or so years that explores how humans became the dominant species on the planet, and also what our lives looked like back when we were, in the author's phrase, an animal of no significance. And lastly, you know how you have, or I hope you have, a quirky and delightful friend who is just the most fascinating person you know? I have the perfect gift book for that person. Textbook Amy Krauss Rosenthal, a wonderfully eccentric memoir that is enhanced by texting. Really. So Hank, those are 12 books I recommend this holiday season. You will see me on Friday for the 10th annual Project for Awesome. End screen. Here's a couple guides on how to make a good Project for Awesome video, and a link to the Indiegogo will be here once it's live. And of course, Self Care Bunny hopes you're being nice to yourself and eating your carrots, unless you're allergic to carrots.